What's up, guys? It's your old buddy, Carolina Jackpot, coming at you. You know, every fan base has had their share of heartache, disappointment, and disaster, along with their share of uh, triumphs, jubilation, and adoration. At South Carolina, we're no different. My fandom started uh, really in the early, early 1980s, late 1970s. Uh, I was born into being a Gamecock fan, and no doubt, there have been some trying times along the way. I wouldn't trade that experience, though, for anything in the world. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to drop a video for you, some of my greatest memories as a Gamecock fan, a compilation of those in video version. However, today, we're going to take a look at 20 years, the first really 20 years of my fandom of woes, no's, oh hell no's, and uh-oh's. Let's get to it right now, shall we? Sit back, crack a cold one open, drown your sorrows, and maybe share a few laughs, because hey guys, it's all in the past, and the future's so bright, we gotta wear, well, we gotta wear shades.
far side, open is Carter, and Carter is in for a touch. It now it'll be Deion Sanders from the 24. In the middle, twists his way, finds an alley. Now it's just the Prairie and all running. It's going to be a touchdown, Florida State. Deion Match it up tonight. Florida State number five in the nation. South Carolina number 15. We're at the home of the Gamecocks, Williams Price Stadium in Columbia. Also in a tight end position, the ball is fumbled at midfield, and the Seminoles have it. Kelvin Smith, 36. Harold Green on the turnover. They got six on first down. Willis with time. Long to the end zone. And a score to Terry Anthony. 44 yards, and the visiting team takes the lead two and a half minutes in. point forward to the mid 1990s things pretty much went according to plan we made our entrance into the sec the premier conference in all of college football and you know we generally beat the teams that we were supposed to beat and we lost to the teams that we were supposed to lose to a lot <laughs> but we didn't have to be playing a team from the sec to do something stupid Carolina. Randall looking deep, going over the middle. Man is wide 
touchdown for the Pirates. They'll spot the ball down at the 23, a 30 yard attempt, and the Pirates are going to fake it. Here's the man, look, it's run in the end zone. Man wide open, touchdown Pirates. Wide open, well. Here's Danny Hill, back to pass, flushed out. He's going down, and that's a fitting ending to the ball game. You can paint this one purple today. From William Price Stadium in Columbia, what an effort by the Pirates. East Carolina 56, South Carolina 42. The Clubs and Tigers and the South Carolina Gamecocks all set to go at it here at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia. Quarterback Tannehill. Tannehill looks to throw, floats into the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina. Monty Means with the grab. And they couldn't get it because of the, really the bad toss. Here's Green. And complete. Couple of missed tackles, and we got some open field running. Here comes Wyatt. He's going to go all the way and score. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter from Williams Bryce Stadium right after these words. Look at this. Inside, here comes Smith. He's got a big head of steam. Can they bring him down? Look at this. Look, he's dragging the man Cousin all the way down to the five yard line. And South Carolina. 17 as Tommy West and Brad Scott come to midfield to shake hands. We'll be back with our wrap-up in a moment. From the eye, fakes the draw right all day. It's intercepted. What a play. Intercepted by Danielle Derricotte, and he's on the move. Got some room. Derricotte down to the 22-yard line. Shevitz on to attempt the field goal. You win it or you go to OT. Hasn't missed a kick all season. Two for two on field goals. Snap is down. Kick is up. It looks good. It's good. And Marshall has done the unthinkable in Columbia, South Carolina. What a big win this one's been. I mean, it is huge. That concludes the better part of two decades of chicanery. Now, in 1999, uh, we went 0-11. <laughs> so there's a lot to pick from there. Uh, they weren't really all that embarrassing, though. Because we lost to all conference foes and Power Five teams, at least. However, there was uh, an 11 to 10 home loss there to Vanderbilt, made even more embarrassing by the fact that we were down 11 to eight with uh, under 30 seconds left in the ball game. Vanderbilt actually uh, took a punt and ran it out of the back of the end zone for an intentional safety because. Yeah, uh, we've only scored eight points, so they really weren't that scared about having to kick off after giving up two more points to the Gamecocks. What the hell do you lose to Vanderbilt at home on homecoming? Also not included in this video due to lack of footage and, quite frankly, uh, interest uh, is a 1981 loss to 4-5 and five Pacific Coast Athletic Association powerhouse the Pacific Tigers at home. It's not even a team anymore. Uh, losing 33 to 10 in 1981 at Hawaii. Yeah, that's right. We traveled 5,000 miles to catch a big old L. We also did it in 1977 as well. And 1982, losing at home 28-23 to the Furman Paladins. Yeah, that happened. That's a thing. I was there. Give me a good old belly laugh. Y'all suck. God damn, boy. Woo! Mercy.